So we're back with Dr. Dean Smith talking about cataracts. Now, Dr. Smith, I'd like to speak about lifestyle and how cataracts can impact lifestyle. And then also, you know, looking forward after the surgery, what should we be considering when we're making choices before surgery so that our lifestyle is going to remain as good as it was prior to surgery? Obviously, the, the lack of vision and the declining vision uh, can restrict people. Um, so they go from a position of, of being somewhat disabled to correcting the disability, uh, but then they can even go a step further. So we can, we can enhance or improve their, their pre-existing uh, vision. So what I like to do is find out from the patient what their visual demands are. So I specifically ask, so how much time do you spend on the computer? Uh, do you play golf? Um, do you do a lot of very close work? Um, or do you do, you know, a mixture of all of those things? Mm -hmm. And usually from, from that, we can figure out what combination of lens implants uh, will provide at least some of those uh, needs. And so is there an, a fee associated with that? It sounds like, to me, investing in your health is always what I believe in. Um, and having a lifestyle as we age uh, is so important. A good, healthy lifestyle is important. And these things we're talking about, golf and time with our family and hobbies, they're important to our mental health as well. So is there additional cost associated with further corrections or premium implants? Well, there can be. Um, and again, it depends on what the patient's needs are. If the patient doesn't mind wearing glasses for near and they don't have other visual problems like astigmatism and so forth, then the insured procedure will quite often do the trick. But if they do have those problems or they want less dependence on glasses, then there is a cost. It's uh, basically, it's, it's cross the border into what we call refractive surgery, similar to laser vision correction LASIK, PRK, that type of thing. Right. So in those instances, part of the procedure is funded, but part of it isn't. So, so what you're saying is there are lots of options. There is. To, yeah. to maintain our eye health yeah. as we age and to allow us to continue to be on the golf course um, with our kids as, as we get older. For sure. Thank you, Dr. Smith, for your time, your expertise. It's been an absolute pleasure to have you on the show. We really feel privileged to have you with us today. Thank you, Marg.